Hey, Afti Scout, and um, we're going to do something interesting today. We're going to do code golfing. Yes. So what's that? Well, code golfing is a type of coding challenge, as you can see here. It's, and the, the goal of the challenge is to write the same code that is the same thing that solves the same challenge, but in the minimum amount of characters possible. So what that means is that you have to compress your code and remove everything that's not absolutely necessary for the code to work, right? I think it's interesting because it's a little bit like the reverse of refactoring. So refactoring is you take some code, you improve it, you make it easier to read, right? How do you do that? Well, you add the spaces, you use better names, you use better methods, things like that. But with code golf, we're going to make as a result of trying to use the least amount of characters, we're going to make our code less readable. So in that sense, uh, golfing is the reverse of refactoring. So I think that's an interesting exercise to do. And of course, this only done for as a challenge, as a challenge, as an entertainment, you start around and find out the limits of the syntax of the language. Okay. And sometimes you learn some, some new methods and some new things doing this. Of course, you wouldn't want to have golf uh, code in your, um, production applications. So this code is not golf. This, um, pretty well factor. As you can see, we have spaces after commas, we have spaces between um, after and before the equal sign, things like that, right? So how can we make this code into golf um, worthy code? Well, let's try it. First, let's see what is this. What it's already working. The purpose of this method, this code, is to take two strings and then find out which um, characters, which letters are unique with, within those two. So in this case, we have testing and test um, because we have test and test repeated. That's not unique, but the word ENG, ink, <laughs> or way you want to pronounce that, is unique. So that's the output of our program. Okay, so that's what it does. So if so to all of this, the first thing we're going to do is to take the names and make them shorter. So instead of common, I'm going to call this C. So re remember when you change a variable name, you want to find all of the places where this name is used. So we have common here, we have common here. So I'm going to replace that by, by C. Why? Because we are golfing and common is a lot of characters and we want to be using the least amount of characters. So if this was refactoring, we will do exactly the reverse, the opposite. We will change the C for common or for some other um, longer name that actually means something. But because we're golfing, we're removing characters and we're using the minimum. If this was longer, this X and Y was longer, we also will make it into one character, okay? Another thing is we're using a method, a method it needs this DF, it needs this AND, and all of these things. We can also has a long name. So first thing, I'm going to make the method name just one letter, so F. That already takes a lot of characters out. So that's a lot of characters, right? Find unique letters, well, use F. Again, we're going to, we're doing the inverse, the opposite that we would do in our refactoring. If I find this code in our refactoring, I want to improve it. The first thing I would do is to make it a name that actually means something. F by itself doesn't mean anything. Okay. Another thing we can do is to make this instead of using a method, we can make this into a lambda. So we can do F equals and here we don't need the spaces because this code golf, again, the rules of code golf, you want to use the least amount of characters. In here, in here we're going to create a lambda like this. Uh, we're going to put all of our code here. Um, to separate the lines, we can use a semicolon right here, right? 
And if I run this code, I get the find method f because when you call a lambda, you have to do like dot call. And for the purpose of the code golf, we are really going to be counting this code. So the code that calls the uses the code the, your program, this doesn't count. We are only counting this, right? So okay, so that's the first step for the for make for golfing. That's what we call it. There is, you can use it as a verb. We are, we are golfing the code. So you can see it's already quite different. It still works. As you can see, we still get ENG, which is the correct output. But if I go back, you can see it is already quite a bit of difference, right? And it's already harder to read. So we're getting closer to our uh, goal of using less characters. So the next thing that you want to do is to remove every possible space, right? So again, it's the opposite. <laughs> it's refactoring. And refactoring, I look to add the spaces. In here, we want to remove spaces. So this space we can remove, this one, this one, this one, this one. We check it's still working. So we can keep removing. As long as the code still works, we can keep removing things, right? So it's still working. So now we have less characters. So spaces count as characters, right? Uh, what else we can do here? Uh, is there something else we can remove? Let's find out. And uh, can we remove this parentheses? Well, there is only one way to find out and to ask to try it. And now da -da, da -da. <laughs> that didn't work. Why? Because we get different output. We get testing. That's not the output we want. We want ENG. So that means we can't remove the parentheses. Now, if you stop for a moment and try to understand why we get a different output, it's because now the lead is running on Y, on whatever the value of Y is, right? It's like, it's like a math in an equation in algebra or any kind of a math um, operation, there are priorities, right? We, we have the times and the division goes before the plus and the minus, right? That kind of thing. Well, the same happens here. In this case, we're deleting from I, from Y. But when we have the parentheses, now we're going to be deleting for the whole thing from, we're going to be deleting from, from what? From X plus Y, which of course is different than just deleting from Y, right? That's why this works and deleting the parentheses doesn't. As you can see, this can teach you things about Ruby, doing this kind of exercise. So please give, give it a try yourself. So what else we can do here? Can we change any names, any spaces that we can delete? Any symbol, signs? Hmm, I don't think so. How about changing method? Can we do the same thing with different method names that are shorter? So Charles, um, how about split? Well, if we use a split, that's not gonna work because we will have to do this. That works, but that's longer. So that's longer than charts, right? So that doesn't work for our purpose here of using the least amount of characters. So what else can we do? Well, here's another nice trick. And this is a thing that you will almost only do in a code golf challenge. And that's to change this join. You see the join? Well, there's a little trick you can do. So use times empty string and that works. You see, we still get ENG as the output, but this is shorter. So these three characters uh, dot join, how many characters? One, two, three, four, five. So it's two characters less. That's good. Even one character less will be good for golf. Why does this work? Well, it turns out that doing this is the same as doing join. They are equivalent. So there is another thing we just learned that you will only see that if you do this kind of type of challenge. 
Remember, it's just for learning and for fun and entertainment. It's not, it's not <laughs> put this kind of code in your production code. Someone is not ain't going to be very happy about that. <laughs> but feel free to practice, practice this on your own and uh, have fun and discover new things. So is there something else that we can change here? Okay, let's go F one character, one character, this comma, we can remove this comma because if we remove that comma, it will be the X, Y variable, which is different than two variables X and Y, right? This we can remove because we need this to create the Lambda, right? And the parent, this curly brackets we also need. So I think that's the smallest we can get from here. Yeah, maybe there is something we can replace this delete because delete is pretty long. Six characters, that's a lot of characters. And cars is also kind of long, it's five characters. So if there was a way where we can make, do the same thing and use something shorter than delete, like kind of what we did here with join, that would be helpful. I can think right now of what would that be? But maybe we can go through a list of the string methods because what we have here, this is a string and try to figure out if there is a shorter way to do that. Hmm, so X plus Y, maybe hmm, C is a string. So we have C, which is actually C is a, C is, oh, I think we can do this. Hold on. C is an array and X and Y are uh, strings, but these are arrays too. So maybe we can do this. How about this? That might be shorter. And doo -doo -doo. let's see what that gives us. Oh. We have, oh, of course. <laughs> C, okay. Yeah, where are we using C here? Ah, of course, because we can't use C if we don't have C. So C would be this. So that means we would do something like this. No, hold on. <laughs> yeah, here I'm just testing things to see. So C was this, right? So what if I'm just trying to see, <laughs> can we somehow get this um, to maybe, okay, how about this? Hold on, hold on. What if we do this and then we do, I think it's going to be longer than what we had. Um, we do this, uh, instead of Y with the plus this plus this minus this, uh, string into array. Well, th that quite kind of works. Mm. What if, no, I remove that, no. Ah, I know, I think we are almost done. Hold on. And then this, Ta -da! that works, but I don't think it is shorter. So we can check if it is shorter or not. We can do this, two, two, two. and then we can do dot size. Okay, how long is this? This is 47, okay? Who about what we had before? The version we've joined. Um, let's find out, just a moment, please. As I undo. Okay, so that's the version we had before. And this is shorter. It's actually shorter. Yeah, so, well, I guess what was worth trying. Maybe we can do this. How, how about this? We do 
x dot y dot um, y dot and then here we do how about that mm -hmm. I the cars and then we take that we take this Okay, that doesn't quite work. <laughs> I I was trying to see if we can reuse a, x and y. Mm. Yeah, because I still need to do that. Hey, right, that kind of works. Then times. Okay, that works. Uh, that's actually a little shorter than what we had before. So that's another option. See, these two options, they do the same. And get us this, the shorter, less character. So that's called golf. So I just seen an example. I didn't plan the second option. I, I just came up trying things and see how you can reuse uh, the work. So you don't have to do chars four times. So I just save it into a variable. And this is creating an array. And this creating another array. So in here we're doing array minus array. And that gives you the difference. In other words, it gives you the unique um, characters. Then we convert that into a string with this little trick. So that's it. That's call goal for you. Hope you learned something new. Give it a try. And if you have a different version of the same um, code, uh, feel free to share in the comments so we can see it. And uh, maybe learn something new from you. OK? Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to learn more, Subscribe to my channel so you can get more videos like this and don't forget to enable notifications. Also, click the like button so I know that you like this video so more people can find it. And finally, subscribe. Um, yeah, subscribe to the channel. I already said that. Uh, visit my website. That's what I was missing. <laughs> visit my website, rubyguides.com. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video.